Lying at a crossroads between Morocco, Algeria and Mauritania, Western Sahara is one of the most inhospitable regions on Earth, with daytime temperatures regularly soaring to over 40 degrees. We were taken to the home of an elderly lady who had been attacked during a raid on our home the previous day by Moroccan police hunting Sahrawi independence activists. <laughs> A trail of destruction was clearly visible in her home. In the corner, a wheelchair still lay overturned, the contents of the fridge thrown across the floor, wounds on the lady's upper body still untreated by a doctor. <laughs> In another part of the city, a gathering was taking place of wives of imprisoned political activists. Also there was a relative of the elderly lady we had visited earlier that day. <laughs> The 20 men detained following the 2010 uprisings are still awaiting trial before a Moroccan martial court. Life sentences for them are the expected outcome. الجلابيت والمسكين اللي كان لابسها نهار قديم الزيك وذا العبد والمساكين حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل نوع من التعذيب اليوم أثاثنا واختطاف أولادنا ورانا متعذبين حقيقة متعذبين ياس التعذيب ويارتنا النان والحرية كباغي شعوب العالم ونطريك نطربوا المنظمات الأوروبية والدولية والحكومية والغير الحكومية أكي لو صحراويس نطينا مصر ديري وشونا نمارويكو كيرا مصر لليبرتاد كي نصدان لليبرتاد 
حساب اسم کاری که ایران مسلم شد پس روز سهر آمیز. Western Sahara is a country quite literally divided. Over 200,000 Saharawis live in refugee camps in Algeria, having fled there when Morocco invaded in 1975. A 2,700km wall reinforced with landmines was built by Morocco in the early 1980s, splitting Western Sahara in two. To this day, Morocco controls the resource-rich regions in the west, with the Polisario Front in control of the territories to the east. We have stated our belief that Morocco's autonomy plan is serious, realistic, and credible, a potential approach to satisfy the aspirations of the people in the Western Sahara to run their own affairs in peace and dignity. The United States strongly supports the role of Ambassador Christopher Ross and the United Nations in resolving this issue. تخريب لمزيك من طرف السلطات المغربيه تدخل كان هناك اجتماع على مستوى مجلس الامن وكان اجتماع على مستوى الاتحاد الاوروبي المنذ عام 48 ساعه كان هناك مستوى كبير على المستوى السياسي يعني كانت هناك اهميه كبيره على المستوى السياسي من تعقد جلسه لمجلس الامن الطارئه او جلسه لمجلس الاتحاد الاوروبي الطارئه ليس بالامر السهل من مقارنه مع تونس وهذا ليبيا جبروا عن المسائل الاعلاميه ما كانت على القيمه by the, the, the stone and, uh, and uh, the iron uh, buckets and they attack uh, uh, they attack my, my, ma my mother they, uh, they, they attack, uh, attack her here by uh, the stone and they attack all people here and upstairs and all this damage on the wall is from yeah this is the stone all this and, uh, and behind the photo the same. And Khali was attacked, uh, had the, the blood here in his, in his face. And my mother, the same, and the people here. You will, I will show you the, the, the video. How they, they when you live here and to say this day by day, um, week by week, and month by month, when you say that it was every day, you, because after what happened to my, my brother Said, people came here and, and uh, what he said to us that we are with you because what happened to our, your brother was happening to Najm Garhi, what happened to us.
Western Sahara's abundance of natural resources provides vital revenue to the Moroccan state. The largest global reserves of phosphates are found in Western Sahara, with over 7 million tonnes exported each year for use in agricultural fertilisers. The territory also has huge fish stocks, but a 36 million euro a year deal with the EU was revoked in December 2011, following revelations that the indigenous people were not benefiting from the deal. The desert landscape here is fast changing as economic opportunities open up. Close to the city of Dakla, the largest tomato plantations in Africa are found. Locals claim underground water sources have dried up due to the intensive nature of these plantations. Despite the presence of a UN mission in Western Sahara, the stance of Morocco's closest ally has meant that they are powerless to do anything in the face of the ongoing oppression of the Sahrawi. In the past three years, the French government has twice opposed the inclusion of human rights monitoring in the UN mission. Vous avez voulu la liberté. Vous voulez le progrès économique. La France, la Grande-Bretagne, l'Europe seront toujours aux côtés du peuple libyen. Despite the heavy military presence in cities like Leon, pockets of resistance remain. By nightfall, youths gather on back streets, blocking roads with rocks and raising their outlawed Western Sahara flag. They run for cover when police are sighted. These may appear small acts, but brave ones nonetheless. For those youths caught by the patrolling police snatch squads, often torturous consequences await. قابلوني تكرفسوا عليا ما خالق بايق ما نسائل تعدي ما طبقوا عليا حتى نسبر دي لدارو فهم شمي الداك لوسا خلي فيها نفهم مقعد وزرن ويا شي قدر ساعتين نفهم جات بلاصات وقتة ثانية جامعي من هادوك وطلعوا عندي حتى وما تلينوا فيا نفهم الدوني الكمسارية الكمسارية من باب ديال الكمسارية إلى إلى الفوق البيخ يدخل واحد يلي باخ يدخل مدة شي تقديرا تلت سوايع وانا لا في البيخ في البانت في المخارج بايقة والسب المخطة الشين تكرفسوا عليا تعدوا عليا حاقرين في ترابنا وهذا ما تعدوا علينا دعناهم مولانا شا نقول Ahora toca actuar, actitud ejemplar, la de Amin Echuhaidar Y también está ocurriendo en el Ayun, capital del Sahara Occidental Así que ya no es uno el que se manifiesta, sino la población completa En las noticias ahí está, todos queremos la independencia, sí Todos queremos conseguir esa meta